So welcome to the uh, Datensporn talk. Uh, now I have uh, three very interesting people in Jitsi. Uh, they are coming from far away of this world. Uh, they come from, uh, as I see, uh, Indonesia. Uh, they want to tell about utopias, also about grassroots utopias uh, of Indonesia. And I will hand over to you guys. And I am very interested. Thank you. It's yours. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, can you hear me? Can you confirm that you can hear me? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Very good. Uh, thank you very much for this. Uh, so, exactly. Um, hello and welcome everyone to this session on uh, democratizing and decolonizing the future. Um, also, grassroots utopias from Indonesia. And so our idea, our idea for today was to show you four projects um, that represent uh, completely different approaches uh, on hacking and making in Indonesia. Um, and we chose these because the topic of the conference is basically to dare more utopia. Uh, and in my opinion, that is exactly uh, what the collectives that you will hear from today are doing already. They try to solve uh, social problems. Uh, they critique current practices and the status quo. Uh, they also raise awareness around social societal problems and social problems, and they democratize and decolonize technology. And ba they basically do this in order uh, to make the future more equitable. That means that by doing the work that they are doing today, they try to create positive futures um, for their communities and also around the world. Um, so I personally, my name is Regina, uh, and I work at the Technical University of Berlin. Uh, I did my field research in Indonesia for my dissertation a few months ago, uh, and that's, like, that's where I met our speakers um, uh, who are going to be presenting today. So today, first up, it's going to be Adin from the Hysteria Collective from Semarang. Uh, so the I'm second... the first one. <laughs> <Huh>? Okay. <laughs> yes, because you're the first in the alphabet. Um... <laughs> Um, the second will be Ira from Jakarta, who is the founder and director of HONF, uh, our House of Natural Fiber. And then we will hear from Gustav, who is the founder of Common Room in Bandung. And last but not least, we will hear from Benny uh, from the Ognom Media Collective in uh, Surabaya. Uh, so they are actually joining us from different parts of Java. Uh, and uh, of course, instead of talking for them, I will now ask them uh, to present their projects. And uh, the idea is to help us understand what they do by showing and explaining some of the projects that they do, uh, with a special focus on the technologies they use, and also tell us about what social problem they try to solve, uh, and explain to us the context of these projects, meaning why these projects are necessary in order to create happier and uh, more equitable futures. Uh, so for the next 25 minutes, we will learn about the four projects uh, and then we would like to open up the session for um, a Q&A uh, in which you should feel free to ask questions in German as well. Uh, we will be translating these um, for, the, for the panel. Um, so first up, let's hear from Arin, uh, who runs uh, the collective uh, with, um, in my opinion, the funniest logo uh, in all of Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Adini will need me to run the presentation, or will um, will you do that? Can you can you share my presentation? Yes. Using the uh, just a sec. I will yes. share the my screen, which I'm doing right now, so we can see your face. And here is your presentation. Okay. Just a second. Because the time is very short, I will start now. So this is our yeah. collective. Uh, basically, we are artist collective from Semarang. Semarang is located in the central Java of Java Island. Next, and we call ourselves collaborator and creative impact hub. Yeah, because we do many collaborative, we have many many uh, exper experiment and do something with platform and sometimes with art project. And before we, we know that our capacity being a hubs, we, we, we cannot identify what we are until we realize that these practices, it's uh, more 
correctly have. So that's why we uh, branding our stuff this next. And this is our spaces. We rent a house since 2008, and we use this house to to do many things like a uh, for workshop and exhibition and also doing performances. Next. And this is another place in my uh, automatic space. There is backyard and we can use it for, for doing gigs and music concert. And also we have small library uh, and content with many zines from across city in Indonesia. Next. So the premise is uh, we have we, we do this situation the lack of participation public in terms of urban planning, urbanization, and also contestation of land ownership, and the three government promoted smart city instead involving people to engage the technology that necessary, and for vulnerability of social solidarity, and the last is lack of sense of belongingness. So in terms of participation of public. In Indonesia, uh, the government uh, currently asked to, to, to participate the urban planning, but in in fact there is uh, many obstacle to do that. So in terms of artist collective and also the concern in the issue, we want to do something that uh, as possible as we can. Uh, as long is uh, fit with our capacity and next so what what we are doing now so for, uh, first one we we do press making project building engagement and we use vernacularism as collective memory i mean we do ethnographical research in the site specific and then we do mapping uh, social mapping, after mapping, and also folklore and something that connected with the collective memory that holding people becoming one community. It is related with the previous issue that people didn't attach with the place because they because they feel uh, the place is not special anymore. So. Because of that, sometimes they just abandon the uh, concern that they are about the place itself. So that's why press writing project is very important for us. And to attach people with the place, we using uh, stories and festival and also uh, social media and some application that that's already available in uh, App Store or something like that. So that's leading us to the third thing, is that building the app using available apps and building community capacity. For the, for the example, next. So this is our activity. Uh, for the example, we are using TikTok platform before TikTok becoming viral. In the, in the like a two two years ago, when the government want to ban TikTok because TikTok is useless, but we are using it for the uh, to tell the story. It it it's it's happened long time ago before TikTok becoming viral, and we we just predict that we want to reach another uh, audience that's very different with YouTube, Instagram, and anything. So this is basically what we do. We do mapping and also deep interview into community. Next, and bring next, next, and bring this data uh, before that, before that, and bring this data into uh, online mapping. We are using OpenStreetMap. We are using OpenStreetMap and also USAID platform. Uh, to do reporting something that happened in that site. Next, and also we create mural with 
the with, with uh, related with the with the uh, story that happened in the place next and also we do uh, scanning for the 3d uh, because we want to create augmented reality tour with using aurasma aurasma is an application and now becoming hp reveal so the 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 basic idea is we are using available application and then using it to our benefit that's how we use technology in our term and also next so this is the the, the actual map but we can go to the specific about the, to the site itself to see how to uh uh to see the the trickery image and leading us to many story that we gathering before next yeah this is uh, one of our festival in in uh kampung kampung it's uh, the the small unit of social community in indonesia next and the last one we have place and space making machine we have two three motorcycle uh three three bicycle what do you call it like a three three wheel motorcycle with the three wheel so we using this uh the the what you call it the, the bagasi but what do you call it to create a stage so people can to perform and also make an exhibition in that place so sometimes we using this to go to small alley to intervene the site and then creating art event or art project next yeah that's uh, the real thing before the event next so now we have many kampung network not only in Semarang but also in another city and we have connected each other by using whatsapp group and also we uh, update all this information through the whatsapp next <laughs> is uh, yeah, i think it's, it's done but can can i uh, share the video I got two. I got two minutes. If it's possible. Rakira. Um. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yes, absolutely. Sorry? Um, I think that I just need to go back to the video thing, and then uh, and then you can take okay. the screen sharing. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, thank you for the time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very, very much for this, Adin. Uh, unless there's any immediate urgent questions, we would then move on to Ira's presentation. <laughs> Okay. Ira, are you ready? Yes. Sorry. Hello. So I just start, okay? Can you hear me? Okay. So my name is Irena Griffina. So I come, uh, people call me Ira. So I come from Yogyakarta, Indonesia, three hours from where Adin base, Hysteria base. And uh, so I'm the co-founder of Horn, of Horn Foundation, uh, foundation focusing in our science and technology. And I'm also the founder of XXL, all female collective that uh, also focusing in our science and free technology. Uh, I will not speak too much because uh, I have a video that uh, present almost uh, everything that I want. I wanted to talk and share. Uh, so I will share the video. It's uh, about like five minutes long, and I hope it's clear and entertaining. <laughs> so I will just start to share it. Yeah, I hope you will enjoy it. Sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. The way to live. My name is Irena Akrevina Media Nimro. So can you hear the sound now? from our home into a uh, like little garage belong to my grandma. Here hacking means you have to live <laughs> because sometimes uh, the price is too high and then we hack it. So we build a prosthesis from local material like bamboo and like pineapple fiber and wood. That idea come across to our mind because it's hard to get prosthesis in here and sometimes you have to wait for a long queue to get just one prosthesis. Before I came to Australia, actually there are a lot like Australian artists came here and we collaborate in some projects. So I was invited at the Melbourne University to do a presentation about our science and technology and then I did a workshop. And I hope in the future we still have more network and connections so we can do more sharing. There are also a lot of people ask why you want to keep your research open, why you want to, to give your knowledge, why you stick on the openness and why you fight for open culture, open science, open design or open source technology. But I think to open means you give more rather than you take. The project is actually about how do you know about the quality of the water. How far do you know about the water that uh, you drink every day or do you 
uh, use for wash every day. That's the our water purified. Every household in here can make it by themselves, and then they have a clean and safe water to drink every day without have to buy. It will be more easier uh, for us as a woman to talk to other women, and the women is play an important role in here because they are the one who do the domestic jobs, especially if they are housewives. So they are the one who control the quality of the health of the families. Jadi sebenarnya posisi wanita di seni, sains maupun teknologi masih cukup sedikit atau masih cukup sulit ketika di, dilakukan di Indonesia. Perempuan sebenarnya memiliki kemampuan yang lebih karena kita cukup sabar, kita cukup teliti dan kita sebenarnya punya cukup kemauan keras untuk mengerti tentang suatu hal atau membuat sesuatu hal atau membagikan hal-hal yang telah kita buat ke orang lain dengan sangat mudah. Jadi big kampung or big village. We still like gossiping, we still like to know what each other doing, we still like to help each other and uh, like living kind of like in the big communities. Still not really thinking about industry or capitalism. In the city you still have this feeling that you belong to the society. Yeah, so that's actually like a, uh, we call it actually domestic hacking and then uh, oh, actually like a female or a citizen actually uh, responds to what we call hacking. And I think, I, do I still have time, Regina? Oh. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I think I will move to. Uh, I will do more Q and A later, so people can ask me what it does it mean, like uh, domestic hacking and hacking, and then uh, I think we can move to Gusta or Penny, or I can back uh, Origina who will take over again. Mm. Yes, um, mm. I think that the next person is going to be Benny, who shared his presentation with me. So I just want to check that uh, he, we can actually hear you, Benny, uh, and then I will uh, then I will continue with your presentation. Yeah, can you just say a few words? To be muted. Mm -hmm. We can't hear anything. You seem to be muted. It seems to be a local problem. Can you check your microphone connection? In that case, maybe I would move on to Gustav, and then uh, we can do some troubleshooting in the background with Benny in the new time, yeah? Okay. So, okay. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Gustav. Uh, I'm based in uh, Bandung. Um, in the past couple of years, uh, we worked uh, closely with the Cipta Indigenous Community in West Java. And uh, 
but tonight I will try to uh, share one of our uh, project on community networks uh, initiative in um, Ciptaglar uh, indigenous uh, community. So, yeah. Okay, I hope you can see clearly uh, from there. So, um, in October, we plan to organize a rural ICT camp. Uh, it's part of our uh, project uh, that focusing on uh, local internet uh, infrastructure uh, community uh, in uh, Chiptaglar village. So basically why we are interested to work with the indigenous community in uh, Indonesia in particular is because uh, most of indigenous community in Indonesia is living in in a um, forest uh, area, which is uh, very important for uh, maintaining uh, biodiversity and also um, have a local knowledge that uh, somehow relevant for um, climate change uh, condition. And uh, in Indonesia, I think in, in many parts of the world, uh, since the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, internet connectivity has become essential tool for many um, uh, important uh, work. And in Indonesia, we have so many uh, significant growth in internet penetrations, but um, digital divide are still uh, our uh, issues. And um, mostly the problem is because there are an absence of uh, internet infrastructure. There are a large difference in bandwidth cost in different islands. Um, unavailability of uh, proper devices and also um, lack of local content, uh, digital skills, and also gender gap. Uh, gender gap. And currently, we have at least uh, twelve thousand villages that has no internet access. And in West Java alone, I think uh, around forty-two thousand students doesn't have any internet access to continue with their uh, study. Um, we are also facing global challenge, uh, like uh, many people in uh, different parts of the world. There are huge uh, population growth in Indonesia, also increasing gap of development between uh, urban and rural areas. Uh, we are also facing the impact of climate change, as well as increasing number of um, uh, people who got affected by the corona coronavirus uh, pandemic. And raw ICT is uh, our effort to uh, support the consolidations of ideas, practice, and initiative uh, from common citizens in developing uh, community-based internet infrastructure. This is uh, this initiative is actually part of digital access program, and as well as uh, community-led approach uh, to address digital device divide in Indonesia that are supported by Association for Progressive Communications. So. Uh, our main uh, objective for this project is to overcome digital divide issues through the development of uh, community-based internet uh, infrastructure. And apart from addressing digital divides, uh, we also um, try to uh, support the sustainable de development agenda, indigenous land rights recognitions, as well as mitigation and adaptation to climate change. Uh, including the um, COVID-19 pandemic response and preventions and uh, youth and women empowerment in uh, our region. So there are several agenda that we are trying to um, address in this uh, ICT camp. Uh, the first is to uh, elaborate the internet ecosystem policy and regulation for uh, rural and remote uh, connectivity in Indonesia, as well as uh, technology and business model including the media literacy and civic empowerment for uh, remote places. So, yeah, uh, we are also during the ICT camp, we planning to uh, do an inception of training center and media lab that we are trying to develop uh, now. And uh, we're going to release a book, uh, a practical guideline for a local community-based internet infrastructure development, as well as webinars, a workshop, a sharing session and exhibitions. And uh, so far, we have uh, we already did uh, several um, preparations, like for example, regular visit to the village uh, to talk to the chief leader as well as local community that are engaged with this uh, initiative. Uh, 
uh, we just uh, organize a workshop together with ICT Watch, uh, Indonesia ICT Volunteer, and Indonesia ISP Associations in order to um, navigate the, IC, uh, the rural ICT camp. Uh, we also doing a, a global meeting with our uh, fellow from APC uh, to coordinate and to share uh, some of the recent development from our side. And yeah, I think that is uh, some of the information that I would like to uh, share with you and maybe we can discuss uh, further uh, during the Q&A. Thank you. Very, very cool. Thank you very much for that. And then we will move on to Benny, uh, if we can hear him. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. I can hear you. I'm sorry. I'm using two computers and some of the audio media collective. All right. Uh, the only problem is that I can hear some some weird feedback, feedback sounds. Yeah. Yeah. You you have to unmute your speakers. Uh, mute your speakers mm -hmm. and just talk. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank okay, you. that sounds better. So I'm going to start your presentation. Yeah. Uh, Regina, can you show the picture? Yes. Of my yeah. Okay. Can you see it? Um, yes. Uh, this is uh, my uh, artworks uh, since uh, uh, I'm using uh, technology and, ele and electronic to uh, making uh, exhibition. Next. Uh, this is the I'm using. Uh, surveillance camera and uh, using like a microscope, the IY. And uh, I'm not only uh, by myself to create this uh, artworks. Continue, next. For the expertise, next. This, I'm using microscope and next. I using uh, speakers and many time uh, many uh, videos. Next, <clears throat> next. This is a uh, Gintang market. Uh, the market is uh, located in the center of, of city of Surabaya. Uh, the market is very unique because the market is. Uh, the uh, the first floor uh, selling of vegetables and goods and for the everyday uh, consume but the second floor is a uh, fully of the electronic and fully of uh, and the fully of oh, sorry. I'm sorry uh, the prey of uh, the sound of prey of uh, from the most is uh, very loud. Can you hear me? Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Lanjut, Mas. Lanjut. The song for. Uh, this uh, 
market is very unique because the market is located in the central city of Surabaya and uh, uh, some of the electronic is uh, imported from the other uh, countries uh, for the example of the Chinese and uh, and this, uh, the size is so very bigger next <coughs> <coughs> For the example, this this is my technician, and the technician is very special in the sound. And uh, some of the knowledge of the people is uh, learned by myself, learned by by, yeah. by himself. I have uh, like a uh, uh, knowledge from the the book, or 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 they they are learning. By doing. Next. Next. Uh, that is the situation of the uh, uh, declaration on the situation of the uh, store and uh, and uh, uh, some of the technician uh, using uh, some of uh, technology. Next. <clears throat> uh, this is for the example of uh, the market is uh, closing down. Uh, many store is closed, and many store is uh, uh, shut down during pandemic. And there is, uh, I just try to uh, come and making a project next. <coughs> Next, uh, I'm using uh, parts of the electronic to make like uh, the science fiction uh, properties, like the biomechatronic or something else. And I just using uh, plastic or uh, and uh, el electronic component to make it any uh, wearable technology. Just as the playful to make with the terrestrial technician to make it uh, something together. Next, next, we call it Project Seni Beni Wicaksono. Uh, the Project Seni is an art project. Uh, our project is still continued uh, until uh, the end this year, and we need. Uh, I need to uh, collaborate with the uh, some technician and reseller to make it any possibilities with uh, the sale of the electronic. Next, this is the new prototype. I using uh, many of uh, parts of the. Pasar Genteng, um, Genteng Markets. I using uh, electronic and I'm using some of the uh, electronics equipment. Next, and they still relax. Next, that is <laughs> the situation of Pasar Genteng now. Uh, they still happy and they still are positive. They still. Uh, uh, have like a power to uh, survive to, during the pandemic, and because the pandemic is make still a make everything is going, but they still relax and support and uh, power and have like a spirit. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Maybe we can after that. Maybe we can uh, discuss it and many question, question and answer. Thank you. Yes, thank you very very much for this. Not like I've ever seen a, a worried Indonesian in my life.
but I'm really happy that the Pasar Genteng people still get to get to relax and not uh, and not worry about the future. I think the pictures didn't really quite show how vast the market is and how full it is of all sorts of electronics and bits and pieces. Um, and people just soldering away and making the most fantastic music systems and all of that. So um, I'm happy that they're doing well. <laughs> Um, right, so that was it for the presentations. We've heard um, a bunch of different uh, societal issues, questions, um, and also attempts to solve these. Um, and if we have any questions from the audience, I would like to jump over to that now because we're supposed to be running out of time in two minutes, right? Well, actually, we can give you five minutes more. Um, Yay! We don't have something in the internet. I have two questions and I have three people in the audience. I don't know whether we have questions there. Doesn't look like that. So my question is, where can we find you guys in the internet? Uh, I think it's important to have some way to connect. So who likes to answer this? Adin, first, would you like to start? How can we find you? Hello? Yeah. So do you have a website? Do you have an email address? Something you want to share to get in contact with uh, people, hackers from around the world, hackers from Germany? Yes, yes. It's it written in the, my presentation, actually, in the last page. Oh, okay, we try to uh, put that in our video information. Okay, next. You're muted, Ira. You have to push the spaceball. Yeah, sorry. So, uh, yeah, I wrote uh, in the chat. So you can go to the, our website, homes.org. And then, yeah, you can find uh, everything. So uh, our project and our last project. And then uh, also contact, some contacts there. And of course, like I have personal emails if you want to contact uh, contact me, but uh, yeah, just go to hunt.org. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, for, for Common Room, you can just uh, visit our website, commonroom.info, or maybe also Twitter and Instagram at commonroom underscore ID, and you can find many information also our um, contact detail in that website and uh, instagram and twitter thank you okay um, so my last question is if someone likes to support you guys uh, will they find uh, information uh, on your website or how can uh, guys from germany support you uh, with money or uh, maybe with hack advice or with whatever do you have an uh, funding source you want to mention uh, yeah. in, in my term we have no like a long support foundation so i mean funding so we sometimes have a project and do uh, what you call it, like a cross subsite. Uh, uh, get another job and then to create another project. And sometimes the Ministry of Culture and Education uh, in Indonesia give us some money, but it's not, it's not enough to make us sustain. So uh, basically, we, we do this because. We have a vision and, and we know that there is a possibility that we can monetize this, but not now. Okay, I think that was uh, our questions from the audience and from the internet. And when you don't have to tell anything, I think that will uh, conclude the event. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, well, thank you very, very much for um, for allowing to share these stories. Uh, it was really, really a pleasure. Uh, and I hope that uh, that we could show uh, the audience uh, something new, something different. Um, and yeah, um, the uh, you can find the projects online and uh, they will be more than happy to, to reply to any questions um, that you might have in the future. And if you go to Indonesia, then make, please make sure that you, uh, that you look for them and uh, that you reach out to them. They are always extremely generously showing everything um, that they have. So uh, you can also learn a lot from them on site once this pandemic is over. Okay, thank you. Thank, Thank you, very you much. everyone. Bye bye. Have Good fun. evening. Bye. Bye. bye.